Welcome to Extreme Replicas, where we go to extremes to make what we want. My name is James. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone who um, stops to watch this channel. Um, we will be making large props, or set pieces, or really whatever catches our eye and it has a difficult, well, is a difficult piece to make. And we'll be starting with something that I have been wanting to make for a very long time. And I'll be making, we'll be making a Stargate from the sci-fi show Stargate SG-1. And I've been a fan of this show for a very long time. And the Stargate is a very large and intricate piece, measuring at like, um, 6.7 meters in outer diameter um, so, and 3 feet between, so quite large. Anyway, um, I was doing some research to see um, how many people had actually built a full-sized Stargate and my list was rather small. Uh, and there's a couple groups from Belgium, and the Belgium Costume Division, and they have pictures of a near full-sized Stargate on their Facebook page. I don't know if they built that or if they um, had someone else build that for them. Um, regardless, it's still a near full-sized gate. The second one is Belgium's uh, Musée Royal de Meriamont, um, which... Um, they did, which the, it was built by them. They built theirs using 3D printed parts and MDF. Took them like somewhere around a thousand man hours to assemble after they had gotten the pieces made. That one was also near full sized, only measuring at um, 20 feet in diameter. Um, the full sized gate at 6.7 meters is 22 feet. Um, which is what we are going to be aiming for. The third group that I found was a group called the Children of MacGyver. Um, they're a European-based group. Um, they're a non-profit. Um, their goal is to build the most accurate Stargate that they can. So they're going around and um, purchasing original pieces from the gate used in the show or they are borrowing them and making cast replicas, or they are um, doing replicas that they make a masterpiece for a cast using measurements and pictures, which is kind of what we're going to be doing. Most of theirs, however, is being assembled with um, fiberglass and um, plexiglass and such, but that doesn't really appeal to me. That and they haven't posted anything since about 2016. Late 2016 to be specific. So I have no idea what their current progress is or if, you've, if they've even made any current progress since those last posts. And my project is going to be similar to theirs in that I'm going to be using um, measurements that I find online and um, reference pictures and um, as detailed um, artwork pictures that I can find and I'm going to replicate it off of that. But unlike with um, the Children of MacGyver, I'm not going to be using plexiglass and fiberglass. Actually, sure, I might be using a little bit of plexiglass for some of the chevrons, but the majority of the build is going to be metal of one kind or another, either steel or aluminum or iron, and, and then I'm going to have a plethora of electronics in there. I haven't worked out how I'm going to do this yet, that's why I'm bringing you along with me. We're going to be designing this and letting you see the progress that we're doing so that you can um, join us with this and see all that we're doing 
and um, give feedback and ideas on how we could do other things better or um, how we could get some things done that we are struggling with. Um, we look forward to having you with us and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you. And if you like this video, um, go ahead and thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, go ahead and thumbs down. Um, I'd be really sad if you did, but it's up to you. Um, subscribe and um, any comment that you make, we will be reading and responding to. Thank you.